and Mahajyoti is a Gurukul worker specializing in early childhood education and yoga for children. She teaches weekly asana classes and occasionally facilitates yoga teacher trainings as well. So thank you for coming here and please start. Hey, Baba, uh, completely redefined asanas and the uh, asana practice. And uh, if we dive deeply into that physical realm of yoga asanas, which is what I'm going to be speaking about, we find that the asana practice is uh, more than simple stretching. So while we know that asanas are postures that are held comfortably uh, physically and mentally, the synchronization of the asana movement with the breath has a profound effect on the uh, mind-body. And so there is this expansion and contraction of energy, a uh, squeeze and release of the nerves, <clears throat> of the internal organs, of the muscles, and of course the glands, and this is the endocrine gland system. Uh, so when the breath is slowed down or even paused, as Dada was going into in depth, uh, a lot of emotional and physical maladies that we have, such as stress and fear and anxiety, uh, they all quite naturally decrease uh, in nature. So to be as flexible as the grass is not an easy um, adventure and it takes practice. So uh, as we are doing sadhana, as we're progressing on the spiritual path, um, uh, asanas benefit every one of the 12 physical sy systems of the body. And uh, these can cause discomfort during sadhana. Um, sometimes physical challenges can take us hostage and make living a balanced spiritual life difficult. And so the physical and mental comfort and well-being of spiritual aspirants was a priority for Nandamurti. Uh, and so he wanted to see that everybody had that possibility of reaching that ultimate goal of self-realization. So uh, Baba potentized the Ananda Marga uh, Asana system through, for example, Dada mentioned the Pranayam Kumbhakas. Um, by being very specific about the repetitions and the time accountability. And of course, throughout all of this, there is that devotional ideation aspect. And so one of the differentiations with the Nanda Marga Asana is what I call is a heartful practice. It's a contemplative practice. It's affecting the subtle body as well as the physical body. And all of these other unique characteristics found only in uh, Ananda Marga Asana system uh, were there to maximize the asana effectiveness uh, for the spiritual aspirant. So Baba once said, said a, a devotee will practice asana uh, and during this practice, you will have one thought uppermost in the mind that the entity on whom you are ideating is your nearest relation and no one is nearer than that supreme entity. And because of this, a, devote, a devotee's mind will become highly expanded in a short period. So this is that promise that Baba gives us, uh, that, that guidebook of uh, progressing from A to Z. And if you follow these steps, um, these will uh, help us to reach our destination. So Baba referred to the Ananda Marga Asana system as a helping practice in that journey towards self-realization, something that um, everyone should have in their spiritual practices uh, tool. So this is uh, the uh, physical practice of uh, asana. And then the last thing I was going to talk very briefly about is Ananda Murti and the glandular effect. So uh, this cutting edge theory of um, the effect on the endocrine gland system uh, 
was pioneered by Anandamurti and was quite the revelation to the world of yoga science theory and the Anandamarga uh, asana system. So Baba said the relationship between the physical body and the mind is very close. Uh, mental expression, and this is those thoughts, uh, is brought about through the vrittis. He said that there are many glands in the body from each of these glands, there is a secretion of a particular hormone. If there is any defect in the um, secretion of hormones or in the gland itself, certain vrittis become excited, uh, which in Baba language is way out of balance. So it is this pressurizing and depressurizing action of the asana that brings these glandular, they can be over secretions or they can be under secretions. And in the asana practice, those are naturally brought into harmony. And so if you are suffering from any of these afflictions, uh, these conditions are caused by uh, you guessed it, vritti imbalances. And so these, um, these propensities, these imbalances in our characteristics of our personality can be so severe that they can uh, exert enough pressure on a chakra as to cause a physical event, such as a heart attack. And so asanas help the sadhaka to balance these vrittis and go them towards the uh, supreme. So spiritual aspirants uh, should select their asanas very carefully. So we want them to help us on the uh, spiritual path. Uh, and an acharya can help you to select the most ideal asana repertoire uh, according to your need to take you the distance. So in short, asanas maintain that balance in the glands, in the endocrine gland system. And then the glands control the secretion of the hormones and the secretion of the hormones controls those propensities or vrittis. And so asanas help bring that steadiness uh, into our character, into our spiritual character, into our heartfulness. So in uh, the Ananda Marga Asana system, our drishti is Baba. Uh, Ananda Marga Asanas can harmonize the glandular system, make the body fit for meditation, and by balancing the body and freeing the mind uh, for concentration on the uh, divine. So this ends my part of our presentation. And may you have a blue sky mind and a blue sky body. Namaskar. Thank you.